Hello and welcome to a tutorial on a new plugin. It's not really a new plugin per se because I only got features from another plugin that I have and two features to be exact and I put them in a new plugin just in case you don't want to download the entire plugin you just get those two features that you need to use. All right, a uh, special thanks to John Gutwin for supporting me on Patreon. So if you want to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below. It helps a lot. Otherwise, you can leave a like or subscribe to the channel to help me out. All right, so let's get on with this. Now, in order to add the plugin, you go to the Utilities tab and say Add Plugins. So the plugin is called Edit Path. So look for it and add it there. Then go to Master Plugins. And then let me remove this other plugin that I don't need. So you can add it here. It's called Edit Path, right? So let's double click and we can close that. So this is the interface. So on the interface here, there's a rotate path and adapt path or, and then another one saying edit before current time. So those of you that have seen my other plugin probably know what this does, but let me explain it anyway. So let's see here, I've got a walk cycle of this character walking over here. Now, if I have ed rotate path selected, I can simply go to the character, go to rotate mode, and I can rotate from this point on forward, right? So I can rotate the path in the heading. So if I click and rotate like that, as you can see now, the character is turning. So I can rotate from any point from here. I can go here and rotate from there as well. So we now successfully have a character that is going around a, a turn like that. So this is good for turning your characters around corners and stuff like that. All right, so now if I select edit before current time, of course, it's going to edit the opposite direction. Instead of edit, editing the front, it will edit uh, before the current position. So as an example, in this case, the character will be rotated like that. The path before this point will be rotated instead. Okay, so let me undo that. All right, so that's it about rotate path. Now, if we go to adapt path, let me remove the edit before current time. We can simply move the motion path. Let me go to move mode and I can click wherever I am in time and then move the motion path to another location like that. But if I want to move the whole path, I'll go to frame zero and move it like that. Okay. So with this, I can move, adapt, and then go to rotate path and change to rotate mode and rotate the path like so. So this makes uh, editing paths like this very, very easy. So adapting uh, a path also works with uh, rotation. So how we can use that is, let me select that same, let me switch on headlamp so we can see more clearly and born x-ray. So let me go closer here. And what I want to do is change the walk cycle at this point. So you can bend over a little bit more. So let me select the bone, make sure adapt path is selected and then I can rotate him downward. Go to the arm and rotate forward. Go to the other arm, rotate forward like that. And let's remove bone x-ray so we can see better. All right. So now he will start off walking normally like this and then he's going to bend down like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And move forward. So, of course, if I select the edit before current time, it will do the opposite. Uh, let me make him turn his head. Let me select the neck bone here. So I want him to turn his head from this point. Let's turn this way. So, since edit before current time is selected, 
all the keyframes before this section, you'll be facing that direction. And then after this point, you'll face back forward and continue walking. All right, so this is uh, pretty useful if you want to modify a looped uh, walk cycle, for example, like this one. And also you want to rotate your path in any given direction. So adaptive uh, adapt path works for both rotation in any direction and position. And rotate path only works in the heading. So you can only rotate the heading of a given character like that and so on so you can rotate the path as desired and have the desired result like that all right so if you like the video hit that like button or subscribe to help me make more videos even better you can support me on patreon the link is in the description thanks for watching oh and by the way the link to the Plugin is also in the description and it's free.